podcast, listen, honey. <laughs> listen, honey. <laughs> um, what, what kind of, what made you want to bring these kinds of conversations to the forefront that you discuss on Listen, honey? And, and, and these, like, relationship things. What was kind of this, uh, like, uh, what, what made why? You kind of, yeah, yeah, why did you want to do this? I think it's just my personality. I'm not, like, you know, I'm a... I'm a regular schmegula girl from the bit but uh-huh. <laughs> i come with deep i come with a lot of deep thoughts and i love feeling people and understanding their stories i really really do that's just always been ingrained with me um if you know my show hello honey on youtube you meet my mom my mom's mama my she's extremely um outspoken and 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 fun loving but she taught me how to really care for people and how to understand that everybody's got their own struggles and everybody's going through something deep and our interaction, it, it, this is this is fate. It's it's not, you're not just put on this earth just cause. Everybody has a purpose. All seven billion people have a purpose and also a reason why we interact and, and exchange with each other. So make it valuable. So when I got blessed with being, you know, Jeannie Mai and, and, and kind of working to get to my career today, I want to, yes, it's fun to talk about fashion and be on the red carpet and talk with celebrities, but honestly, I really want to have thoughtful conversations with people on how we can move the needle on hope and our culture and our own personal lives. We should be happy in our lives and we should be connecting with other people because we can't do it alone. But the best way to do that is to really be self-aware and then to have empathy for others. So all of my, my work, whether it's my podcast, my YouTube is always on that, on that level. It's always like, what can you learn more about yourself so that you can turn around and project a different type of vibration with other people that will make it dope. Yeah. 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 I'm so glad. Yeah. Totally agree. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we have one question here that, that was very interesting. I, I, I okay. must say, um, from LC Sun. How okay. do you? Oh wait, she said, do you feel heard about Asian American issues on the real? I I think between my my ladies, the amazing co-hosts of the real, um, yeah, absolutely. I think all of us have a a, a respectable space where if something bothers you, whether it's Tamara and um, understanding how important it is um, to really stand up against gun violence, whether it's um, Adrian and and her woes and cries for the Latin community, um, Amanda constantly teaches me um, more understanding about black history and Lonnie at the same way too, even just in her, Lonnie has such a deep heart for people and their, and their pain. We all respect that space to feel what is important to us and to learn more from it. So when it comes to Asian American issues, yes, I do. For me personally, I don't feel like it's ever spoken about enough because I only can hear myself. Does that make sense? So yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah. I want, I want to hear and be able to have more conversations to talk about it but I also don't want it to all be about me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I'd like to have more colleagues. I want I want more Asian American friends in my business. Yeah. All y'all out there, all you creators, artists, all y'all, can you come to the forefront? Can you can you come show me some yellow love here? <laughs> like like let's 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 be more about it, you know? And and, and so it's it's not it's not it's not a bad thing. It's just like no, I'd yeah. like more representation. Well, I think that that's that's a really good point because you know, both, you know, I'm, I'm on the journalism side of things. You're on this, you're, you're a form of journalism, you're a host. And um, I think a lot of people overlook that part. We don't have enough people, in, uh, Asian Americans in spaces like talk show hosts. Well, we have Lily now, we have Hassan, we have- Lily Stingray. Uh-huh. Yeah, and then, you know, even- Liza like, as, you. Yeah. It, I mean, we're seeing it starting to grow, but I think there's just to be so much more. And I think that's the good thing about the real, because yes, um, you know, obviously there are a lot of similar shows, but there's something so specific about the real that kind of speaks to. I'm just gonna say people of color, and and and, and uh, it's a distinct perspective that uh, gets left out a lot. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So um, that's why. Everybody, um, of uh, I love. We love culture. We clearly know that culture is what makes America so beautiful. So speak up from your, uh, from from your perspective more. And I also encourage people to look at your circle of friends, man. Look at your circle of friends, and if they all look like you, 
something's wrong. Yeah. If all your yeah. friends be all like all speak your same language, I mean, that's great and everything, but yo, expand, open up, like meet people from different heritages and backgrounds and, and ask them like, yo, what's up? How are you? Ask people, how are they doing? And bring up hard issues and, and talk about that. Some of those really darker, deeper conversations are the ones that bond you more for life than the how's the weather kind of talk or, you know, or um, I, I just really encourage people to have friends outside your comfort zone, have friends outside of your race. Because when we connect is when we actually really unite. Mm -hmm. um, oh God, this shirt is horrible. It, it was so raggedy. <laughs> uh, it's fine. You, know, you look great. You know, you look adorable. Is forgiving at this point because you know. Hey, what? nobody judging. No one's judging. Um, someone asked. This is a good question because as people, as a person in the public eye, um, how do you deal with? you know, people being very overcritical or hateful, how do you navigate that? Because even, I mean, as a journalist, I, I report on things, I'm just, it's the same way. You get, if you're in some sort of public eye, you're gonna get some sort of hate, crit criticism. Um, and I have, you know, I'm human, so I'm gonna have problems with it, but how do you navigate through people uh, um, throwing shade and hate at you? Um, girl, I'm, f <laughs> I'm 40 now. I'm 40. I, like, I'm, I, I, I ain't got time for it, to be really honest with you. At this time, every day, I'm trying to wake up and fulfill my purpose. I'm trying to listen to God and be like, yo, what am I supposed to do with the 24 hours I had to ha have ahead of me? Thank you. Shout out to waking me up and opening my eyes. But what am I supposed to do now? So um, being focused on what I do with my career, what I do with my family, what I do with my future, my vision, even choices I make in love, like that, that's my, I, I try to do the best I can. So if anybody's got thoughts to come at me, I'm gonna go about it as the most grown way we can. So if somebody really has an issue, if they hit me up on a serious level, you know, like either in, in my DMs or they, you know, I have a very open forum. All the time I'm asking people to hit me up with questions that I can, answer directly on my podcast and also i read every one of my comments on youtube so if there's a real situation instead of just trolls like if you're just trolling me because you don't like my hair you don't like my skin color i mean get out of here with that stuff like i, I don't have time for that right but if it's like, right but if it's a real like hey genie you mentioned this and i have a question i don't understand where you were coming from can you elaborate all day all day i'm, I'm down for things like that so it's really about having respectful conversations with one another so to all y'all who like you know, think that you might get things figured out in the comments and go head to head with somebody arguing in the comments, that's not the way to go. Because you wouldn't do that to a real brother or a friend. So why would you do that to somebody that you don't know on the internet? You know, I think that real conversations can be had. And for me, I've got a text number that's in my bio. I've also got a very open forum when it comes to both my YouTube and my Listen Honey. And um, I'm here, like you can have talks and, and, and have real discussions with me. So you don't need to ever troll or throw hate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It, I mean, I, I, I am super sensitive sometimes. <laughs> but you know, so and but also, it's it, it, it's you can't help but be human. But at the same time, I totally love, get what you say because I, I, I just turned forty-one. So you know, uh, uh, yeah. See, look, Asian don't raise in folks. Yes. <laughs> when you um, go Asian, it feel like vacation. But no, it's it's it, it, so you you kind of just don't have time for people to treat you like trash. It's like uh, either you provide something for me in a way that respects me, or you know, uh, 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 kind of en enlightens me, or you're just talking, you're just yelling, and I just don't. Yeah. Have time. You either want to make noise or you actually want to hear a sound. Which one are yeah. you doing? Are you making oh, that's noise? Oh, so good. That's a genius. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, well, well, Jeannie, before I let you go, I just want to thank you so much. You know, you have, yes. you're doing you're doing a lot. Girls working. Uh, the real. Holy moly, just premiered. Uh, to, it's premiering tonight. Tonight. Uh, you have your On podcast, ABC. You have your YouTube. You know, yes. anything else? You have, what else? What else do you have coming up? Anything else that you want to share? Well, Follow me on Instagram at the Genie Mai. I'm going to put it in the comments right here so that I can connect with you guys. I want to hear more from you. And then definitely watch.